Everyone in crypto has heard of Satoshi Nakamoto, but do you know about Hal Finney? Sit back and enjoy a recollection of the life of this man, whom many speculated to be Satoshi himself. Harold Thomas Finney II, born in 1956, was an avid runner, cypherpunk, and software programmer recognized as a significant contributor to Bitcoin in its early days. He graduated from Caltech with a bachelor's in engineering in 1979. Interestingly, after graduating, he contributed to the development of popular games like Adventures of Tron, Armor Ambush, and Astro Smash. Later on, he went to work for PGP Corporation from its early days until his retirement in 2011 due to health complications. PGP Corporation sold the Pretty Good Privacy Computer Software, an encryption program that provides privacy and authentication for data communication that's still often used today. Aside from work, Finney was also a noted cryptographic activist during his personal time and played an important role in the cypherfunk movement. In the early 1990s, he was regularly posting on the Cypherfunk's mailing list, an email group of like-minded individuals. This is actually the same mailing list where Satoshi would later sow the seeds of Bitcoin. He was also involved in the development of the first anonymous remailer, which is a tool for sending emails without revealing the sender's identity. In 2004, before Bitcoin was even launched, Finney created the first reusable proof-of-work system as a prototype for digital cash. While the system wasn't able to take off, it laid the groundwork for Bitcoin. In fact, he's known to be the second person after Satoshi to download and install the Bitcoin software when it was first launched. His experiments with mining Bitcoin led him to be one of the very first debuggers and contributors to Bitcoin's code. He was also the first person to ever receive Bitcoin when Satoshi sent him 10 Bitcoins in January 2009. This is why so many people believe that Finney was in fact Satoshi Nakamoto himself, even though he has denied this. There are other clues, one being the fun fact that Finney lived in the same town as a Japanese-American man named Dorian Satoshi Nakamoto. When Dorian denied his involvement in the creation of Bitcoin, many theorized that Finney could have used him as an inspiration for his pseudonym. Finney also retired from PGP Corporation in early 2011, coinciding with Satoshi's last known email correspondence on April 26, 2011. However, evidence against the rumors was brought to light by Jameson Lopp, another cypherfunk software engineer and co-founder of Bitcoin custody firm Casa. In a blog post, he shared that Finney was competing in a 10-mile race on April 18, 2009, when Satoshi Nakamoto was responding to emails and transacting on Bitcoin. In 2009, Finney was unfortunately diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, which paralyzed him in the last few years of his life. Despite his diagnosis, though, Hal maintained a positive outlook until his final days and his passion about cryptography and Bitcoin never wavered. Even while paralyzed in a wheelchair, he found a way to write code and was working on hardening the security of Bitcoin wallets. On August 28, 2014, Hal Finney passed away at age 58. In true iconic fashion, his body was cryopreserved frozen at approximately minus 196 degrees Celsius at the Alcor Life Extension Foundation following his wishes. He was able to pay for his cryopreservation through life insurance and Bitcoin donated by admirers. While he may not be Satoshi, he was a legend nonetheless, and maybe the world could meet him once more. If you'd like to learn more about how Bitcoin mining actually works, watch this video.